So Clark wrote me these every day for the last 37 days. And today is day zero. Zero days left. My love, for the past 37 days, I've shared a hundred of our favorite memories with you. I love looking back and smiling, knowing that I am about to marry my best friend. This last note has two of my favorite memories from our incredible relationship. The day and the moment I knew I was going to marry you. I remember this walk so vividly. Our laughs and smiles are still imprinted in my memory like it was yesterday. And standing on top of that hill as the sun was setting, I knew. And memory number two was the day I asked you to marry me. I've never been so confident about a decision in my life. I will forever protect, love, guide, and lead us in our marriage. I love you so much, and I am 100% sure that the new top memory will be today, our wedding day. See you soon, my love. Love, Clark. <laughs> I love it. Rachel, I still remember the smile on your face when you walked up to me on July 4th of 2013. And when we left, you said to me, I trust I'll see you again, Clark. <laughs> Look at us now. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Despite the fears of many unknowns, more questions than answers, and leaving for opposite sides of the country, I still found strength and certainty with you. I knew immediately that we had something special, and at every intersection of life's winding roads, I found my way closer to you, more amazed by you, and more in love with you. I stated in my journal shortly after we met, ours is a story of more than just coincidence, of faith and happiness, and a story without fear. New things have continued to follow since the day we met 2,188 days ago. You and me began with great courage and bold trust. In a crowded room, I took a leap of faith and walked up to you. Then our adventure began. How do you feel? So happy. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to welcome you to this amazing place. Many of you over the last few months have asked me why are they getting married in Whistler? <laughs> How do I get to Whistler? And I hope through experiencing the rain, the hours of delay at Vancouver Airport and finally seeing this Mount Curry behind us is the answer to your question. We have spent some amazing moments here and all of it has really meant so much to our family and for you to all take this journey has just meant the world to all of us. Rachel, I have to say you are so lucky to have found a guy like Clark to spend the rest of your life with. He's so caring, he's so thoughtful, he's so incredibly handsome, he's so, so... Wait, sorry, Clark, I can't read what you wrote here. Clark, thank you for being a wonderful brother who I look up to as well as a friend to me. I'm still your biggest fan clapping you on as you embark on this adventure with Rachel. Rachel, I see how you've helped Clark grow. I see in Clark a new confidence in who he is. Your affirmation and support really inspires him. I've never seen him so happy as he is when he's with you. You've inspired spontaneity and adventurousness in Clark to go to amazing places all around the world and try new foods together. You truly inspire the best in one another. And together you're such intentional, caring, and dedicated people. You're committed to your family and friends, and your love for one another is an incredible and inspiring one. So Rachel, welcome to the family. Here's to a long life together filled with happiness, adventure, and lots of wonderful memories. To Clark and Rachel.
I love you not only for the you that I have experienced for these six beautiful years, but also for the strong, optimistic, and loving you that I know you will be when things aren't so beautiful. I choose you, Clark, to be my husband. I promise to love you now, not just for who you are today, but for who you will be every day after. I promise to support you and what brings you joy, even if that means a lot of craft coffee. I choose you, Rachel, to be my wife. I promise to listen to you and fully understand your heart. I promise to take us on adventures, step out of our comfort zones, and experience all of life's amazing gifts. I promise to push the envelope for us to seek adventure whenever and wherever we can. I promise to stand by you in sickness, ahead of you in trials, behind you in support. And I promise to always be a stable, steady, unwavering, safe place for you to forever call your home. From now until the end of time, I am yours and you are mine. Since you, Clark, and you, Rachel, have consented together in marriage, made your covenant to each other in the presence of these witnesses, by the authority of the province of British Columbia, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> this is amazing, seriously, to just be surrounded by so many people that have been in our lives for so many years, supporting us and watching us grow. I can't explain how it feels to be standing up here right now. I hope all of you have an incredible night of eating, drinking, and dancing. And Rachel, as my grandpa always used to tell my grandma, grow old along with me, the best is yet to be.